Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey and today I'm going to be using the uni carry to cook dough that I've made in 45 minutes using the bread maker. So let's see how that comes out. I'm using gas. Let's go make it. This is how I make the dough. 500 grams of pizza flour goes into the bread maker. Then one gram of yeast into the same bowl I used for the flour measuring. And then I add 150 grams of water to the yeast. Stir it in. It's all dissolved. Pour that in to your bread maker and then just cover the yeast and create a pocket for your salt water. I'm just using normal ingredients, nothing special. It's tap water, table salt and my normal pizza flour, which is the Blue Caputo Pizzeria. 11 grams of salt for this recipe. And now I'm going to add the water, 150 grams of water. I'm going to dissolve the salt in the water. Stir it in with a fork. Make sure it's all dissolved. And then what I do is I quickly stir it all in before the machine does. And that's it. That's all I do. Place this in the bread maker. So I need to put it on the right program now, which is pizza program is 28. It's a 45 minute program. As soon as it's done, I'll uh, be ready to just proof it for an hour and use it straight away. To show you what's going on. It's done. I'm going to measure out 200 grams from this big dough ball and split it into three. Put that into a plastic container for it to proof for one hour. This has been proofed for one hour. So a 45 minute program and then proofed for one hour and I cannot see any air bubbles like I normally have. Very few air bubbles with this dough, but let's go and see how it cooks. One thing I've noticed about this dough already is how quick, or how actually easy it is to stretch a lot easier than my normal dough. Using 
cream cheese today. Okay, so we've made the pizza. Now there's two things I wanted to do today. I wanted to, I've got to turn down the gas firstly because it's, the stone is 430 degrees. But for this particular oven, it's too high. I need that stone to be 410 degrees centigrade in the center because it does just sort of retain the heat a lot and I don't want to burn my base. So I'm going to wait for that to come down a little bit just so you know how cold it is today. So actually that's gone down too much while I've been talking too much. So I'm gonna turn it up. Actually, I'm gonna turn it back up on full, which is normally how I cook on full. I don't wanna cook on low heat. There we are, it's going straight back up now. See how fast it moves up. Right, I'm gonna get this in this stone really is good at uh oh right it's not sticking let's get this in gosh i have to say this dough is the best non-sticky dough i've made in a long time and i didn't even proof it so there's uh, something to be said about that might turn it down a little bit it's it's quite ferocious in there today the reason I don't want it to burn my already cooked pancetta that's why I'm covering it and the dough underneath, just cooking nicely. Let's check it. Whoa, I think that's done. So you can either have the pizza like this with just the pancetta and the cheese on top. And I'm also gonna add some blue cheese Stilton to it. beginning of this video it showed how I made it and then all I did was leave it in a warm room to proof in my little tub for in here for an hour and that's all I did and then used it and I'm really really impressed it's the flavor as well I know proofing does add flavor but it's certainly what I've done with the bread maker 
I got bubbles. I've got those. So those are there. Um, and I've got bubbles in my my base. I've got those. It's really crunchy. I'm gonna bite into that, it's really crunchy. If I show you the base, right, I'm going to have a bite of that. Mmm. Mmm. This is like a nice breakfast pizza. Yeah. Mmm. This is really nice. That Philadelphia cream, a Philadelphia cream cheese. I, last year I did a lot of tomato sauce based pizzas. I'm gonna diverse into other areas. More barbecue, sweet and sour cheese bases. Pineapple, I'm gonna do a pineapple pizza. I'm gonna do a Hawaiian. I'm gonna make a Hawaiian, I haven't made one for about two years on this channel. I've also ordered the uni sourdough balls. I'm gonna be making an uni sourdough pizza and see how that turns out. I'm also experimenting with my own sourdough recipe. So I'm gonna see how that comes out. A lot to do. Look at this. I love this uni curry with the um, stone. It's just really fast cook and it gives a good base cook. The taste isn't as great as it is when you proof dough. So it gives it that extra taste, but it tastes better than using bread flour. I use the Blue Caputo Pizzeria Having a bread maker for me, if you are gonna be making a lot of dough, I personally recommend getting a bread maker because it, it gives you consistent results every time. 45 minute dough, an hour proof just after that, and that proof time, so you put the dough in 45 minutes, then your proof time is you getting the oven ready and sorting all your tools out. And So by the time you've done that, you, you've got a pizza in two hours from nothing. So very impressed with the dough, 45 minutes, the recipe is below. Thanks for watching, and I'm very much looking forward to all the things we've got lined up for 2021 so take care everyone bye and don't forget to check out our website gottoeatpizza.com link is below